everyone, here at Suzuki Australia, we're really excited to release some new products for 2022 models and beyond. We'd like to talk now through our SMG4, which is our new multifunction gauge. That's a four inch gauge fitted with a three and a half inch LCD color display. Our first page is our home page. You can simply scroll through and have a taco page or an RPM page, and then scroll through to a speed page and then ultimately a fuel page. We'll concentrate now on our home page. On the all page, you have RPM, the speedo, and that can be in a number of different mediums, which we'll talk about later. You have a trim gauge, a gear selector, a feature there showing the new auto trim, a temperature gauge, time, and also your fuel economy. If you scroll through to the RPM page, you can see there's an analog style taco there that can be changed to a digital one. And then down in the lower menu, you still have your trim indicator, shift indicator. And in this case, we've got latitude and longitude or your position. You can then scroll through this menu and you can see fuel used. And that's how much fuel the engine's using on a trip. Your economy average over that trip. The fuel economy when the engine is running. So that's a live fuel economy reading. Fuel flow total, that's how much you're burning in litres per hour. Again, litres per hour flow. The total is if you're running more than one engine. And you've got voltage and the temperature gauge there. And in trip, you've got a distance traveled. Now, if you want to reset any of those functions in the trip, you just hold the up or down for three seconds and it will zero and that has reset your fuel burn for your trip and things like that. It also has the engine hours. We've got a relatively new motor on here so it's only done five hours. You can then scroll through to your RPM page. Again, this can be digital or analog. We've got it set in kilometers per hour and all those same menus are down there in the bottom. You can just scroll through and then you can have a fuel page. Now on the fuel page, if the boat is fitted with a fuel sender, you can see there how much fuel's in your boat. Given that the boat we're in now doesn't have a fuel sender, we have that function switched off, but you can use your trip fuel to let you know how much fuel you've used. So in a case like this boat has a 110 litre tank, you would reset that before you go out and then you'll know exactly how much fuel you've used on your trip. We'll go through some of the menus now. So the first one is illumination. So illumination, if you set that, you've got a day and night setting and you can just scroll up and down through those menus. Sync is if you've got more than one gauge. So you can have that synced. So whatever you change on the primary gauge, it'll change on the others. We'll select the brightness and then we can up and down the brightness on the gauge set that we can scroll down from day to night now if we change across to night and set that the display is now in red you can also change that simply by holding the set button down for three seconds and it changes back to day mode so back into the menu so that covers your illumination side of things the new auto trim function which is fitted to at the moment, all the SPC models or the drive-by-wire models from 115 through to the 350A. For 2022, that's a standard feature on these engines. And simply by turning that on, that will automatically trim the engine up when the boat's underway. When it gets to about 4,000 RPM, the engine will trim out six degrees just to improve your steering, your fuel economy, and the ride quality of the boat. And if you're a confident driver and you don't want that function, you can simply turn that off. In this case, we'll leave it on. The next menu is diagnosis. Now, if you go into there, you can look at any current codes. So if there was a fault with the engine, you can go in there and see what that code could be. And you can speak to your dealer who will help you assess what you need to do. Or you can go down to data output. And by pressing that, you can create data and that will get what we call an SDS report or a Suzuki Diagnostic System report that you can email through to your 
dealer who can inspect that to make sure everything's running as it should be and identify anything that may not be. You can also create a log of that data and that'll save it in there for you. Back to the main menu again, down to display. Now this is where you can choose to see either analog or digital displays. So in this case, we've got the TACO or the RPM page set at analog. We've got the speed and fuel set at analog. Let's change that across to digital. Then we go down to the fuel page. Um, at the moment that was turned on. Let's turn it off because we don't have the fuel sender and then our all page will leave that on digital. So again, when we go back to our display, we've got digital in that case, analog in that case, and we've gone to a digital display for the Speedo now. And we can show you that when we're out on the water. Now, further down is the device list. Now in the device list, you can see anything that's attached to your CAN network or your backbone system. So we can have a look at that. And that's all the items that are attached and that's the gauges. And in our case, we've got two seven inch uh, multifunction displays up the top there. So those items are all listed and there's also external as well. And that'll have things like your GPS aerial and your compass and that attached to it. So you can read all as part of that. The other menu is the keyless start. So in the keyless menu, that's so you can look in there and identify anything to do with the keyless system. Uh, again, that's something your dealer will set up for you. And then initial setting is, that's a setting done by the dealer when the boat's new, and he sets up all the parameters for the engine, things such as your kilometers per hour and your liters per hour. Uh, you might want it in knots. And that's something you can discuss with your dealer as you do that initial setup. So there you have it. That's the new SMG4 or four inch multifunction gauge for the new 2022 Suzuki Outboards. If you want any further information, please contact your nearest Suzuki Marine dealer or visit suzukimarine.com.au.